I am still able to do all the things that people that don't have diabetes do. 11-year-old Garrett Brown of Prairie Village has type 1 diabetes. His mother says he must have a daily injection to survive. It has just gone up and up and up and up for us the last 10 years. A congressional report says the cost of the insulin injector, the Novo Log FlexPen, is 14 times more expensive here than in some other nations. Garrett went to Washington this summer to talk about this, and he's lucky because his family has insurance for his medications. But that report paints a different picture for others. The 17,000 diabetic seniors and Medicare patients in the 3rd Congressional District paid $16 million for the top insulin drugs in 2016. I mean, they're making the same insulin now that they were years and years and years and years ago when it was first when they first came up with it. There are very few generics because insulin makers keep tweaking the formula, preventing the patents from expiring, thus blocking the generics. I think Congresswoman Sharice Davids also blames middlemen, brokers buying from drug makers and not passing along the drug maker discounts. They're offering rebates and discounts and uh, those are not getting passed on to the consumer. They're not getting passed on to the patient. So this report is mainly about Johnson and Wyandotte counties and the rising cost of insulin and its impact on the people who need to use it. Michael Mahoney, KMBC 9 News.